Hey y'all, this is AL Think Madame, and just like I told y'all, whenever I turn my phone to the side, I could be looking straight ahead, it look like I'm looking over there, or I'm looking over there. But, for the sake of, I guess, the people who want to see the landscape view of me doing something, here y'all go. Until I can afford to purchase a camera where I can look any way I'm, I'm open to looking, and it actually be where I'm actually looking, then, you know, this is what it's going to be. So, it is what it is. I'm reporting live from the car. Uh <laughs> Y'all, anyway, I just wanted to discuss the movie Don't Look Up. So, I had every intention of watching it, so it's not like I saw it and then now I'm feeling some type of way because I was expecting something in particular. I saw who the who all of the actors were going to be in the movie anyway. Um, didn't really care about what the movie was going to be about because I was like, oh, I like all of these people. Let me see what it's hidden for. So when it came on, I instantly got the gist of what it was supposed to be about. So I was like, okay, then I'm here for this. Like I am considered to be a blurred. And for those of y'all who don't know what a blurred is, it is supposed to be a black nerd. Um, I've always been told that I'm nerdy, um, that I'm weird and stuff like that, a geek. And I don't take offense to that at all. You know what I'm saying? I don't think I'm smart. You know what I'm saying? I don't think I'm, you know, the smartest thing that ever was. I know that I'm not the smartest thing that ever was. I know that I'm not super duper intelligent, but I mean, I've always been told that I am a nerd, a geek, weird, and all these other things. And in more recent years, people who like really are really, really, really geeks and nerds and all that stuff have said it to me. They'd be like, yeah, you're weird. Yeah, you're a geek. Yeah, you're a nerd. For them to say it, I'm like, oh, okay. It, it's not just me saying it because I'm into certain things. It's not just that. I just really am a nerd. Oh, okay, cool. So anyway, <laughs> now that I've gotten that out of the way, um, I'm, I'm a blurred, you know what I'm saying? Um, this movie was good to me. I enjoyed watching it. Um, it had a lot of moments where it was hilarious to me, uh, dark humor, um, some of that humor where it's kind of like dry at times. I like certain dry humor. And so, you know, this was right up my alley. Uh, the way that all of this went down. When I tell you, I kept turning it off. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna lie. I really, I kept turning the thing off because I was just like, y'all getting on my nerves. And I was like, I would rather talk to my friends who keep messaging me than to indulge this. So as long as I have people who want to reach out to me and talk to me, I'm gonna talk to them and then I'll come back to this movie because they was getting on my nerves. I really wish that I could have reached through the screen and slapped just about everybody like if i could have gotten away with it all them people would have been slapped i'm so sick and tired i'm so sick and tired so spoiler alert if you haven't seen it and you want to see it i'm about to say some things that have happened within this movie that are definitely spoilers so go ahead and dismiss yourself and go watch the movie and then come back because i do want to discuss it with a few people who are interested in it so i saw the movie and, you know, the gist of it is that there are some people who have looked out into the universe and into the atmosphere and all that, and they can see six months into the future and see that there is a comet that is coming straight for the Earth. Uh, so the fact that a college student saw it and someone who was over her, you know what I'm saying, who actually is a doctor, who actually went to school and did all this stuff, like, she's a candidate and all of that, but the other person who verified what she said down to the seconds and all of that, it's like, whoa, wait a minute, this is crazy. Got to the point where everybody who needed to be called were called, and they were ushered into the White House to talk to the president who was being played by Meryl Streep. Why her son was Jonah Hill? <laughs> oh, here. Yeah. And he was the, uh, what, Secretary of State? Y'all yeah, all remember. He was the child. What is he? What was he playing on here? I was so sick and tired of him. 
Jonah Hill. <laughs> I cannot. Child, I was like, what is going on? I was so sick and tired of him. Like, he kept doing, like, when he first came on the screen, I was like, okay. And I thought I was crazy. But then he just kept doing little stupid stuff. I was like, uh-uh, oh, y'all need to be slapped. So, I mean, they really had these people wait forever in a day to not be seen. Then they had, like, a three-star general who was waiting there with them who all of a sudden in the middle of the night was like, all right, well, I got to be somewhere tomorrow at, like, 2. And they looking like, what? Like, everybody was tired. And so, like, I like the fact that they did have a black man who was, like, very knowledgeable of stuff like that. And as soon as it came across his desk, slash, it was, you know, the call was put through to him that he was like, um, what? And he took it seriously. He was there with them as well. He was there from start to finish. Child, I was so tired of my spirit. Like, I really was so sick and tired of these people because I was just like, we're not going to take this seriously. Did, don't, did nobody take a note and say, um, Madam President, this is what's going on in the world. Did, this is what we didn't do. Didn't nobody say, okay, this is what's going on in the world. I hate when people be all up in my face, so I had to move that because people be trying me. Um... <laughs> I cannot stand when people look at my face. So anyway, I'm just like, did nobody say, uh, oh, we have a, a situation and like everything cleared off the calendar, like nothing. These people had a whole birthday party. I was like, y'all really made it seem like, oh, we'll be with y'all in a few minutes and had a whole birthday party, a whole birthday gathering. I don't know who, who ordered the helium and the, the whatever that they put the air in the, um, balloons but uh them balloons was going through before the end of 24 hours i was like oh uh-uh mm -mm. dollar tree somebody could have did better than that what was going on with that um but yeah then the, the general before he cut out he had the audacity to go and get some snacks and made it seem like oh the snacks in here are so high and then he over here charging folks Come to find out they free. Sir, you know you wrong. You are a three-star general. You have money. Why are you making it seem like you po? What you doing with your money? That you sitting up in here playing to everybody, making it seem like you got to pay for these high... Like, it was like cheese nips or something. I was like... The girl hit, went in there and to go get some more, and she was like, okay, where do I go pay for these? And the woman was like, they're free. And it's like, a part of me knew it when this man pulled this. I was like, either it ain't that high or they're free. Like, you lying. No woman looked at her like, this is the White House. It's free. I'm like, I'm trying to figure out why this general sat up here and charged these people for free snacks. Like, what is wrong with you? So, anyway, y'all, that was something that urged my soul. So, anyway, these people waiting all this time, and I'm just like, okay, when they finally did see him, they're not taking them seriously. And I'm just like, man, Jonah Hill's character got on my nerves. I mean, he played his role. He did what he was supposed to do. Let me just make sure I say that. But I'm just like, sir, you just dumb. How, who, who like, I want to know. <laughs> I want to know. This is somewhat of a serious question. I really want to know. Like, did the people say, you know what? Let me see if we can kind of mimic um, some of the stupidity that has been going on with past presidents and things. And so, like, I'm trying to figure out who nominated her and who said it's okay for him to have been on the ticket. The son, I'm just like, what? why? He's just so stupid. It's like he really was just dead getting paid. I don't understand his purpose except to make it look like he was so busy. I'm just like, you ain't doing nothing, though. Like, what is we talking about? So, so anyway, eventually, when they were seen, they were not taken seriously. Like, they told them, like, uh, it's six months and however many days, minutes. Like, I, I mean, they had a timer and everything, letting them know, like, listen, this is really happening. They had documentation. Everybody had been sent documentation. It's some dude who I guess they trying to, like every time, every other blue moon, somebody will make a movie 
and they'll have a dude on there that's kind of like what I guess you could say a Steve Jobs is supposed to be. So they had some dude named Peter on there who was kind of like a he. I don't know if he had Aspergers. I don't. I don't know what was going on. But I guess he was supposed to be considered high functioning and a tech dude. Like he did the most. And like the phone that he introduced, it had like it had stuff where it can sense your mood and it'll do something for you to make your mood change because he was sad i'm like how you doing this presentation and you so sad and depressed on the brink of killing yourself and then all of a sudden while he was doing the presentation and it said he was sad they were just like oh we got something for that and then they showed like puppies playing or something and then he was like oh oh, oh yeah oh this makes me so happy and i was just like what then they had these small children up there. And I was like, oh. And then, as soon as I said that, he was like slick at the mouth to the children and ignoring the children. Like, one of the children wanted to ask a question. And he, like, skipped all over him and was like, yeah, no. And then, like, the child, you could tell the child lived for him because when after the presentation was over, they went backstage and she tried to talk to him he didn't want to hit and like he was just off in a whole nother world i was just like uh-uh see sometimes people like that scare me you know what i'm saying i guess you could kind of say he's somewhat and i use it very loosely when i say somewhat if you watch claws he's somewhat like dean somewhat like dean and i was just like um this is a little bit too much for me dean would have at least said something back to me and not act as if I am, as if he's better than me uh, in that moment. Because the girl legit was like, oh my gosh, I love you. You're an icon, whatever. Like, she really lived for this dude. And for him to talk to her as if she's not. Like, he really went on by his day talking as if she wasn't standing there and just did a presentation with him. And I'm just like, you know what people do when they see puppies, kids, and all this other stuff. They are more inclined to be like, okay, let me listen to what you're talking about. Oh, look at the beautiful children. And you sitting up here dismissing the child. They sat up there and made sure they got the phones back from the children. They're not for you to snatch the phones out of their hands. I was like, no, y'all didn't. Y'all, I was so tired. I was so tired. I was like, uh uh. Everybody would have got slapped. All y'all could get slapped at this point. All of y'all get slapped. So, <coughs> this high functioning man, he brought in on it. And I mean, he even saw, like, he wasn't even somebody who was like, oh, okay, I explain to me what's happening in this right here. No, he saw it, like, right when the presentation was over, if I'm not mistaken, y'all. And he was like, oh, my. And, like, he even knew the severity of it or whatever, but even as time progressed, I was just like, does he really care? Like, does he care? And then as we got to the end, I mean, it's like, yeah, he didn't care. He didn't have to care. For obvious reasons but we're gonna get there so anyway time then went on and uh the president is not taking this seriously at all it was to the point where old girl upset uh old boy is upset uh it's crazy because he has such a problem with um anxiety and everything else and it's like Usually when people are like him who have such high anxiety and all that, once they are talking about something that they are in their field doing or whatever, just like I keep telling y'all, I cannot, I do not like public speaking. But when it comes to social work and all that, that's a whole nother ball game. Okay. So, but for him, he just, what is his name? Dr. Mitt. Y'all I don't want to say, I don't want to say it, say it wrong. But anyway, <coughs> It was just too much. <clears throat> like, she was like, like, in all honesty, she should have been at the forefront. But because he is the one with the doctor in his name and she is merely in school, it's like, I mean, I understand. But at the same time, like, put some respect on it. Y'all know this heifer is the one who, who was the one who pointed all this out. She was the one who saw it. Like, it is what it is. Why is we acting like we don't know what's going on here? So I was just like, child, this is too much. 
And like she still was a student or whatever. So like nobody at the White House is believing nothing she's saying. Nobody's believing them at all. And I'm like, what? I was tired. Like I was like, she was more concerned with her presidential run, <clears throat> midterm elections and all this. Like she was more concerned with that than the fact that within six months, she ain't even going to be here. Like earth is about to be obliterated. What are we talking about? So they didn't take it seriously. She had been dating this dude. And so he was like, oh, well, I can get someone who is, uh, who works for the New York Times or somewhere. And like whoever the person is, it, they're like a really, really, really big deal. And people would take them seriously. Not long after that, he just sat up here and he didn't put her out there to be like a crazy ex of his. And she's not knowing that she is actually becoming an ex-girlfriend as all of this is unfolding. And I'm just like, what? Like, y'all, I was so tired in my spirit. The most was going on, child. The most was going on. I don't know what's going on, but um, they're coming over here. They must be going to this neighborhood over here. Y'all, my bad. I had to see what was going on because it was the uh, fire trucks and things. Mm-hmm. What's a lot of them, Lord? To, something must be going on in this neighborhood over here. So anyway, y'all, um, excuse me, my bad. Now what's going on? But um, old girl did not get the credit that she deserved. In my opinion, I was not here for that. Um, they really tried to make them out to be crazy, and so um, then she lost her boyfriend. And I'm just like, why are you trying to say, oh, he basically did all this to blow his own career up. And I'm like, now you over here trying to make it seem like she crazy and talking crazy because she said that the world coming to an end basically because this uh, comment is coming. <clears throat> and you making a name for yourself and really making her look like she crazy. And you know what I'm saying? Like, but... It just got to a point where she was like, they're not going to listen to us. We have to find another way for it to get out there so that we can be taken seriously. So they went other means. They went other ways around it. And let's just say uh, everybody and their mama was very interested in trying to figure out what was going on. Um, because it's like, okay, well, if this is the case, then what is what is the White House doing about it? So once it became convenient for the White House, then they were on board with it. And so even old girl was like, oh, so now all of a sudden, because it fits your bottom dollar, now it's important. And so she was like, yeah. I was like, Meryl Streep played this part, y'all. That's all I got to say. They have played this role. Meryl Streep always come through, but I was just like, ma'am, ma'am, uh, she did the most. So... Child, I was just like, oh my gosh, y'all did the absolute most in y'all lives. So, pretty much, they acted as if they were going to uh, counteract everything and they were going to use uh, all of these measures, all of this stuff to like stop it. They had all these drones or something set in place and they didn't do nothing. Even old boy, the smart dude, Peter, or whatever, that's supposed to be like Steve Jobs, I guess. He was in the room and trying to direct stuff because, as you know, the White House don't know what's going on. These people don't know what, what none of this is that's going on. Like, he's very into the tech stuff. He's very into the science of it all. These people don't know nothing except trying to keep their numbers going and to stay rich. That's it. So I was just like, mm-mm. Mm-mm. So, yeah, y'all, it was just a lot. It was so much to the point where I was just like, bruh, y'all are really doing way too much in y'all's lives. So I was just like, I cannot. Like, I'm telling y'all, I had to turn this off so many times because they was destroying my nerves. Because I was just like, even though I know this ain't something that's happening right now, in all honesty, I am that type of person that I really have thought of stuff like this. Like, I'm that person that I'm like, oh, well, I've always been told that if, if you know, uh, what is it? What goes up must come down. So I'm always cautious of people shooting straight up into the air 
and all of that. Like people literally be minding their business, walking, exercising, or doing whatever, and then a bullet will come back down after however long. Like people don't think about this stuff. Like that is real life. Stuff like that really does happen. So I'm I, I mean, and I've thought about like comets, meteors, and all that stuff too. Like we've seen stories where they said little pieces have fallen to earth or whatever, but you mean to tell me that y'all were so into the presidential run that y'all were not the least bit concerned with the fact that y'all ain't gonna be here? Child, and then I'm trying to figure out why was Tyler Perry in this movie. I'm trying to understand why he was in this movie. They could have had Michael Che, Michael Che, or however he pronounced his name, they'd be doing this stuff on um Saturday Night Live to do this part because they had him like as a um a uh, uh, news reporter or whatever that was sitting at a desk, uh, uh, a desk anchor, I guess you could say, with this w other woman. And I was just like, I hope y'all didn't pay him for this because first of all, no. Second of all, that check could have went to somebody who actually deserves it and needed some money, who actually can act. Listen, don't come for me. I was one of the main people, especially in the South, who was 100% fully on board with all things Tyler Perry when he first came out. I'm talking about before the movies and stuff came out, meaning um, grassroots, all of this stuff, when all he was doing was the plays. I had never gone to any of the plays. I had never had, never had any intentions of going to the plays, and I was like, mm, I don't know about all that. Tell me why one day now, if you're from back home in Montgomery, Alabama, you're going to know what I'm talking about if it's still named this. So back in the day, he had already had at least one play that had already been out that he had um, had some people to record from time to time or, you know, whatever. I think somebody did record this. This was one of the shows that they recorded. So whatever one of the first plays were that he had that had gotten recorded or whatever, I was in a hair store minding my business. I was on, uh, I think it's Norman Bridge Road. Uh, Beauty and Beyond is what it was called at the time. So I was in that location doing what I normally do because I stayed up in somebody's beauty supply store and didn't need to be because I have way too much stuff. I told y'all one day I'm going to do a little um, show and tell and y'all going to be like, ma'am. <laughs> I'm just trying to tell y'all. So anyway, so I was up in there and I was buying stuff. So this dude who was like a bootleg dude, he came up to me he was saying something and I guess he liked me and so he gave me a DVD, and I'm looking like, okay, didn't know what it was, so when I got home, I unloaded everything, I had a whole bunch of weave and stuff, because I was going to braid my hair, or do something at the time, had my bag loaded down, so I legit had forgotten that he had even given that to me, I'm thinking it's some mixtape or something that I don't care about, it's a Tyler Perry play, so once I realized it, because I didn't know, because first of all, he scribbled on it, handwriting was terrible, so I didn't even know what it was, so I popped it into the DVD player, the little, you know, whatever, the CD-ROM, whatever it was that was connected to the computer at the time. So I saw what was going on. I was like, okay. Mm-hmm. So I was here for it. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I've been on to him. I've been listening. I've been watching out. And I mean, I have bought plenty. I still have DVDs that I don't watch anymore. But I'm saying I have supported before. I have gone to the movies. I have definitely supported the plays when they've gone to DVD and all of that. Um, I was going to go to his last show, but I didn't, you know, it was just too much going on at the time, so I never went. And I was like, yeah, it is what it is. And I don't I don't like being around a lot of people, so that was another thing. But I digress. So anyway, I said all that to say this. Don't ever try to come to me and try to make it seem like I'm not here for a black person making it and doing what they doing because I am. I was definitely one of those people who was here for Tyler Perry and saw the glow up. I saw the glow up. I saw it. <laughs> I was there. I was supporting it. it is what it is. He just he's just not. When it comes when it can't when it 99% of the time he's just not not it as far as acting is concerned. Um and like I said, they could have gave his role to somebody else. I was just like, why? Like, why was he needed to be? Why? I understand that that made it, made it so that there was more than one black person in this movie. But still, I was just like, why is he in this role? I did not understand. But anyway. um, So, yeah. uh, 
after everything was all said and done, the doctor, the, you know, instructor, he went on a press tour and <clears throat> they basically cast old girl to the side, the student cast her to the side and was like, it is what it is. Why is everybody, child, I don't know what is going on here. I got to hurry and go home because these people doing the least. Um, but, um, basically cast the old girl to the side and had it where she was just made to look like she was crazy or whatever and doctor the doctor he was just doing what he wanted to do and he was out here making bank and he had a wife and adult kids at the house and he started feeling himself and he was cheating with the heifer who tyler perry was next to every day as a news anchor you know what I'm saying? I was just like, like, there's nothing. I'm sorry, Leonardo DiCaprio, he is just. Leonardo DiCaprio ain't been fine in I don't know how many years. I'm just, listen. I said what I said. I said what I said. So I just be like, <laughs> coupled with the fact. <laughs> That the role that he played on here was one of those off-putting roles. It's like you're not fine to begin with. You know, you're you're not that man. You're not that guy anymore. Off a rip. Then you're playing this role of a timid teacher, a timid instructor that works at a university or whatever. Cool, whatever, nerdy. But how you gonna sit up here? You had a whole wife at the house. Then you start cheating on your wife. His wife had to pop up one day randomly. It was like, yeah, I had a sneaking suspicion that this was going on. And it is what it is. But I guess if you're going to deal with him, this is what you got to deal with. So she started throwing like, oh, now how many bottles of pills at this man? <laughs> oh, my God. Boo child. And then it's like, you need to see Alice and everything else. Like, you doing the most to be somebody who was not popping ever. Like, he one of them dudes where you could tell he was always lame. He was always lame. Yes, he was smart, but he was lame. So it's like, I can't stand people like that. They get they get famous for whatever reason, and then they start screwing around. And it's like, if you don't get somewhere and sit down, child, I was so tired when I saw that popping off. I was like, I know he ain't cheating. I, I know not. I know not. So anyway child i was like child please mm -mm. Like, he was really doing the most but it got to a point where like he really was sitting up there like promoting stuff and trying to make it seem like it was the opposite of what it, of what it was all while time is just winding down and then it just got to a point where uh he, he realized that his life was in shambles his life was trash it is what it is <laughs> Peter even told him that he gonna die alone because that's how advanced the technology that he uses for his stuff is. He told him, I don't even remember, but all I know for a fact is that you're gonna die alone. I was like, whoo, child. Anyway, he regained focus in, in the uh, final hour, if you will. And old girl, she was where she was at. She was somewhere in, in uh, Illinois and he was trying to get his wife back and all of a sudden he looked up in the sky like it was so like up on him that you could see it with the naked eye it wasn't where it was before where you could just see it in, from with a telescope like you could see it with the naked eye he'd have stopped in the middle of traffic everybody honking at him so he'd have called her she in the middle of making out with some random dude who lived for her from when he saw her go viral for talking about how all this stuff is crazy and how the United States government ain't trying to do nothing about what's going on and that everybody finna die but they don't want to listen. They both done seen it and he's just like, I need to meet up with you. I need to see you, whatever, whatever. So they're trying to do a last ditch effort and all of this. Child, it's a mess. To make this long story short, Earth ends up getting taken out. The fact that Madam President sat up here and had the typical pod that a rich person would have and got blasted off somewhere with Peter, the, the Steve Jobs dude, forgot her son. Like, 
they was trying to look first of all they was trying to avoid everything they had all of these uh these people just child y'all i'm sorry it's just people who don't know how to drive it just irks my soul i'm sorry i just can't and then they wonder why they cause all tow up around here my bad so anyway um but a last ditch effort once they started realizing it really was happening they sat up there and they had like drones and stuff that was supposed to head it off at the past they had like 26 drones or something all of them failed they either wouldn't launch wouldn't do nothing and i was just like <laughs> wait a minute this is it's not funny but it is i really was sitting there laughing like y'all really sitting up here trying to set it off in the final hour and now ain't nothing going right because you had all this time to get this right all this time to try to hit it off at the pass all this time when y'all could have had something going y'all could have tried to do something now everybody finna go out of a blaze of glory because of y'all man all that stuff failed tell me why tell me why the people sat up there oh boy peter was like well uh, i think i'm gonna go to the bathroom and i was like bathroom uh we in the middle of a crisis sir and i was like please tell me this man is not tipping out knowing good and well the world is finna come to an end right now so then madam president tells me yeah i think i'm gonna go ahead and go to the bathroom too and so the son is trying to reassure everybody that they coming back man people didn't want to hear that people one by one was like i'm finna go see my family that they realizing that the world is over now it's over with it's coming like you can really see it now like you can literally see the tail of the comet and everything in plain sight without a telescope honey i was like what is going on here why so this is where you fast forward to the pods i guess they had their own little life pod this helped us set up here and had the audacity to call the doctor and was like well we have two spots one for you and one for your wife or whoever you want to bring with you. He was like, I'm all right. I'm good. So he was going to live out everything, you know, spending time with his family. His wife opened the door. They went grocery shopping. <coughs> Ended up making a good, nice little meal and everything. The black dude got invited over to everything. So they had a nice little meal and they were talking. The sons, everybody was there. And they talking. And, you know, you could tell the end of the world was coming. They showing places all over the world getting obliterated. And I was just like, oh my gosh, like this is crazy. This is insane. So they sitting up there doing what they do. And so when she was on the phone with him, offering him up a seat. And so he was like, no, nah, I hope you and, you know, I forgot what the son name is. Um, Have a good life or whatever. This heifer had to realize that she left her, her son behind after she done booked it. Heifer, you done booked it. You gone. You already gone. Ain't no turning around. You and how all, all these other rich people done got y'all some parts and y'all done left. You done left your son to die. And he is back in the command center or wherever they was at trying to reassure everybody oh they're coming back they're just going to the bathroom i was so done i was so done i was like this heifer left my son to die i was so done y'all i was so through i was like i cannot i am done honey i am done so tell me why basically everybody died and you have to really sit there and watch it. It's kind of like a Marvel movie. You have to watch all the way to the end. Because some kept telling me, I was like, ain't no way they ended it like this. So they're showing credits and everything. And they show where they end up going to some planet. They already had the course set and everything. So they didn't went to whatever planet that they was going to go and start over on. Peter done told this heifer, Madam President, that she going to die. And, you know... She was trying to figure out how and what he was talking about. Well, when she got there, she was like, oh, what's that? Whatever the animal was, whatever the creature was that was there, she tried to pet it, and that thing killed her. 
And so he was like, yeah, I think that's what that was. Everybody, make sure you don't pet those. <coughs> and I was like, that's what you get, Heff. You done did all this. And you died in the end. But guess what, though? Her son lived. He over here trying to tweet, go live, or whatever. To myself, hey, y'all, I'm here. Even though I, I'm the last man on earth. I'm like, who you so dumb? I can't. But anyway, y'all, that movie had me crying, laughing. I was so through. That movie is a mess. That movie was a mess. It's like over two hours long. It's a little bit over two hours, y'all. Uh, it kept my attention. I just had to keep turning it off because them people was getting on my nerves so bad. And I was just like, I'd rather talk to my friends than to deal with this foolishness because I cannot. Like, it was some straight up foolishness, y'all. In all honesty, it would not surprise me if this was to happen in real life. But anyway, y'all, thank y'all for tuning in to this. If y'all saw it, what did y'all think about it? Did y'all like the movie or not? Like, let's talk about this down in the comment section. Please subscribe to my channel if you have not done so. Thumbs up this video. And let's get down in the comment section and discuss this foolishness. Bye, y'all.